how she was bad. This was bad. This was the sleep bonnets of lip mask. You would put it on at night and wake up nowhere to be found. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Soulful Abby and I like to make videos about home, fashion, beauty, soul, and so, so, so much more. So, in the past, I've made a video doing a comparison haul between two lip masks. Today, I'm continuing that trend. Um, the, okay, let me go back. The video I made was with Laneige and Milk Makeup. It was like a comparison of those two lip masks. But today, I'm doing another video and I'm comparing two lip products not lip mask but two lip products um the patrick tall lip mask right here called she's juicy and the fresh beauty lip balm called rose petal lip soft lip cream so they look like this so i'm comparing these lovely two products so let's start with the patrick Ta product i purchased this at sephora for um 22 dollars this has 0.28 ounces of product and eight grams making about two dollars two dollars and 75 cents a gram um it comes in a nice packaging container with like it fe feels and looks very luxe it's a screw-on cap and the the container looks like this now just a little mini review ball i get into i don't really love i love the way the container looks but i don't like this portion of the packaging because you cannot over time you're gonna have to dig your hands in deeper and like it's just not conducive to everyday use because some of the product might stay in the packaging but it is very sleek packaging i kind of just wish it was like more of a top um maybe like a closed top or something where you didn't have to screw screw it i don't know this product is free of sulfates and it's cruelty free and gluten free it has kind of like a minty smell to it. It would smell like like a, a lip plumper to me. Um, it's very moisturizing. Let me put some on my hand right here. It bl melts in really nicely. Um, the instructions say that you should use this before you're putting lip color on. So this is almost like you're supposed to prep your lips for lip color to hydrate them. So like a lip moisturizer in that sense. Um, and then they suggest that you reapply it throughout the day as needed. So um, that's a good point I'm making between the two products. None of these products explicitly say to wear this at night and it's going to keep your lips hydrated overnight. Um, but that's just something worth mentioning. In addition to that, uh, the the instructions also said that this product would work really well after you've scrubbed your lips so that's something to keep in mind like exfoliate for that extra oomph and then put this um, lip product on so that's the Patrick Ta lip mask so now let's get into the fresh beauty rose lip petal cream looks like this so this retails for $22 and I got it at Sephora, um, excuse me, this retails for $24 and I got it at Sephora. It's 0 0.34, it's 0 0.03 ounces and 10 grams. And it looks like this. So this um, is about $2.40 and uh, an ounce. So this product, theoretically, for the value, is cheaper than the Patrick Ta product. This one's cheaper because you're getting a little bit more, even though in the price. Um, it looks like this. So it's easy top. The packaging works because you're going to have access to all of the product. Let me take some. I'm going to take some product. And I'm going to put it beneath it. I know this. Maybe. I... And it's there. This... As you would know, as you would guess, it has a rose scent to it. The rose scent is pretty innocuous. It goes away over time. This is also part of Sephora's Clean Beauty. Um, so it's like free of parabens, has like clean ingredients, etc. Look at it, y'all. This is part of Sephora's Clean Beauty. And it's supposed to provide 24-hour hydration. 
because it's infused with rose oils and the instructions are to apply daily as needed like throughout the day as needed so this again does not explicitly say to use overnight for this kind of comparison i was because also like they knew what they were doing. Laneige changed the game. The girls started coming out with lip products in these containers. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like these are types of things that you use at night. So I was using this, y'all. And y'all know I like my fresh products. I have a whole fresh video where it's like my fresh empties and favorites. <laughs> I'll leave it in the cards. Uh, she was bad. This was bad. This was the sleep bonnets of lip mask. You would put it on at night and wake up, nowhere to be found. Gone, where, where you at? This was bad. Like, it's not hydrating. I think I've tried Rose Slav, like the tin ones that were more hydrating than this. Like, let me just, I'm a fan of fresh lip, summer fresh lip products. In the past, I've tried this. And this is the fresh sugar hydrating lip balm. I tried the co um, coconut one and I reviewed it and I said that it was a good product, but this packaging is too package heavy. You're not getting enough product for the price. This is $18. This is $24, but this has like less ounces. Um, it only has like 21.21 fluid ounces and uh, six grams. This has six grams. This one has eight grams. So this one has less product. Let me show you. This is the blood orange one. It smells good. Looks like this. I've been using this. I, like I mentioned before, because you're dipping your hand in, I think these belong in like desk or at home or like on your vanity. These aren't really supposed to be like travel in your bag. I wouldn't be going outside and keep dipping my hand in. Not, not me. Or if you took like a brush with you. But this product right here is more hydrating than this one. I would tell you guys to buy this and not to buy this. I don't know, Fresh missed the mark on this. This is like, I would almost argue that Vaseline might be better than this. This is not good. So like over time, I would alternate this product and this product and use them at night. And I found that this one left my lips a little bit more hydrated in the morning compared to this one. But this um, product has better packaging than the Patrick Ta in terms of function. This one has better packaging in terms of aesthetic, but this also stays true to the Fresh Beauty brand aesthetic. I do really, really like both of these. No, I don't, I don't like this one. I wanna buy this one again. I like both of these products, but not so much this one. My advice would be, these are not lip masks and a lot of lip masks that are out on the market, you can double them as daily lip balms. These are lip balms, and you're kind of paying a lot of money for lip balms. So my suggestion would be for these two products, if you, if it's on sale and whatnot, go ahead, buy it, have fun. If it's not, if I'm being honest, it's a pass. You can double up your lip uh, masks they use at night, the good ones, the, I mean the great ones, and use those as lip balms. But you don't need to buy an exclusive lip balm. So these are fun to have. They're fun to gift. If they're on sale and you're, you're feeling fancy, get these. If not, just pass. But it was fun trying these products. So <laughs> that was the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Are there any lip products that you love and you can't live without? Let me know down below in the comment section. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope to be back with more videos and more comparisons, more dupes, more skincare, more home, more fashion, more beauty, more, more life. <laughs> and y'all take care. Bye.